crypto never sleeps. So I've been coming here giving you guys some of these stories, even though I'm out of town. I want you guys to know all of the crazy things that are happening. And today, one of the craziest days we've seen yet, we have Facebook officially going to be launching a stable coin. Hmm, what does this mean for crypto? PayPal banning users and trying to get all the Bitcoin for themselves. And then we also have the biggest Ponzi scheme in crypto history, not BitConnect, it's actually Plus Token, going down and what this means for the markets. So first, let's start with the Facebook story. You guys go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys like these little short videos, make sure to smash the like button and also hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this style of video. But we got the news that Facebook is actually gonna be launching Libra, okay? Well, it may not actually be Libra itself. If you didn't know, Libra was Facebook's cryptocurrency project, but the government shut it down. Now, this is so interesting to me. Apparently now, instead of trying to go through the US government, they're going through Switzerland, which is where the Libra Foundation is. They made one change to what they're doing and this is supposedly going to get approved and they're gonna launch this in January. That's the word on the street. What does this change? Well, instead of having one coin called Libra that will be a stable coin pegged to a basket of assets, that was the holdup. Supposedly what Facebook is gonna be doing is launching several stable coins, each pegged to one asset. So we will get a Euro dollar, a, a, a Libra Euro dollar, a, a Libra US dollar, a Libra won possibly. I don't know if that's in the cards, but I'm sure a Euro and a in US dollar at least. Maybe gold, maybe silver. We'll just have to see. But absolutely crazy news. If you remember, this is what really launched bullish momentum in 2009, or uh, excuse me, 2019. And it was a short lived rally, but it was led by Facebook. Now, what did that r rally result in? Well, Bitcoin getting back up to about 14,000. But it was way out of character, if you look in the history of Bitcoin, it was way out of character for them to have, for Bitcoin to have a rye like that out of nowhere. A lot of people think that was actually because of the plus token Ponzi scheme. This is a $4.2 billion Ponzi scheme, one of the top five Ponzi schemes in the world's history. Today, it was announced that China has seized all $4.2 billion uh, of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other assets that were involved in that scam. And... What does that mean? Well, it means eventually they're probably going to dump the price with it, but it's going to be slow moving. They're going to wait till probably the top of the market. I, I would actually probably say that the Chinese government will probably be what causes the market to, to really, really crash next year, September, October, November. We got a long ways before that. The good news is that these tokens are off the, the dumping market for now. So we'll just have to see what happens with that in the future. But I think overall, this is great news. The scammers got caught and the Bitcoin's on the shelf. Speaking of scammers, PayPal, what the f PayPal? You're gonna, you're gonna buy up 70% of Bitcoin? All new Bitcoin, 70% is going to PayPal? And then you're gonna ban users for cryptocurrency transactions? What the f is wrong with you? I hate people like this, companies like this. So hypocritical, so hypocritical. Uh, there was news of a Reddit user who had his PayPal account banned for too many cryptocurrency transactions. This is why it's good for crypto that PayPal is coming in because it's going to spread awareness and add legitimacy to cryptocurrency, but it's bad because these people just straight suck. Smash that like button. Have a blessed day, big boy out.